Rochelle Ritchie at the airport. What can you tell us, Rochelle? Well, Jim, I spoke with the Public Affairs Department for Autech. They're actually based in Rhode Island, and they say so far 380 people have been evacuated from Andros Island as a precaution. Now, they say they also moved some of their major equipment from the island to the mainland, and they actually sent one of their range of vessels to be housed at the Navy base in Key West. Now, just to give you an idea of what uh, Autech is, it's actually a sector of the Navy, of the, Na of the U.S. Navy, I should say, and they basically do underwater warfare research. Now, this afternoon, we saw a number of, number of people being flown in from the island. They were told not to speak with us, but one man did, and he told us the weather there was much like it is here in West Palm Beach today. Sunny with a few thunderstorms here and there, but of course, that could all change and become a little bit more severe as Hurricane Irene continues to move across the Atlantic toward the Bahamas. Now, we are told about 60 essential personnel will remain at the island. Now, by essential that is going to include emergency response teams as well as security. Now, those people that were evacuated here to West Palm Beach have been moved to some of our local local hotels. How long they will be here is just simply not known. It's a little too early to say until we see exactly what Irene does. Live in West Palm Beach, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV News Channel 5. As she continues churning.